Hi guys, this is Casey Patey of the Inspired Office, theinspiredoffice.com. I'm the office organizing expert of the group, and this week we're talking about New Year's resolutions for our business in 2011. And um, let me just start by saying 2010 has been, been a great year in many ways, and one of the ways it's been excellent for me is just in acquiring tools and resources and knowledge. So. I joined a mentorship program, a mastermind program with Jordana, and that's how we actually met. So I feel like I have all of this knowledge now that um, I, I didn't have in the first eight or nine years of my business. So it's been sort of hunting and gathering for knowledge in 2010. And in 2011, an overarching theme, now I don't know if this is a resolution, but an overarching theme for me is going to be to put all of this knowledge to work and to finally implement so many of these ideas and tools that have been simmering. So with that being said, I do have two specific resolutions. To be honest with you, I, I have goals, of course, for 2011. But before I was asked to do the video on resolutions, I didn't necessarily have resolutions. So this was a great opportunity for me to actually come up with a couple. So I thought long and hard about these, and I came up with two. So the business mentor who I have told us in a recent call that we should always deliver more value to our clients than they pay for. And that really struck a chord with me because that's something I believe she does, which is why I was attracted to this particular mentor. So I don't know the specifics of this yet, but I would like to deliver more value to my clients than they pay for. And um, who knows, that could be you know, it's added something extra during the sessions or during the packages. It could be um, giving more of my time in a certain way. It could be a better follow-up than I've been giving to them. It could be an actual physical object, giving them maybe different or better end-of-session gifts, maybe a little more luxurious, a little more elaborate. So again, I'm really excited just to see what comes up now that I've put that out there, but I really want my clients to know without a doubt, each and every one of them, how much I appreciate them. So client appreciation and um, just ways of showering my clients with appreciation. I'm not sure what that looks like, but I'll certainly let you guys know when I figure that out. So that is a resolution number one for 2011. And the other comes back to something that um, we all here, all entrepreneurs strive for, and that of course is the work-life balance, but for me, I can't just say that, I have to be very specific about it. So what that means to me is um, I'm committing to turning my computer off, not turning my computer off, but not working after say 11 p.m. every night. Now I know some entrepreneurs who are a little more diehard about the work-life balance actually stop working at five. They keep very regular nine to five hours and that's not something I'm ready to commit to. But I will admit that I do work sometimes as late as 1 a.m. and that's just, that's not right. Um, I should be sleeping, I should be reading, I should be doing either of those things, anything but sitting in front of the newsletter, getting a late newsletter out, or um, I, I honestly couldn't even tell you what I'm doing to all hours of the morning. So to recap, my resolutions are to deliver even better value to my clients than they are paying me for, and to stop working each and every night by 11, sometimes earlier. And just to let you know, this December, I've, I've started to do that. I would say most nights I've stopped working by 10 or 11, but the majority of the year it's been more like midnight or one. So I'm on my way, it feels good, and I'd like to keep up the good work. So hopefully that gives you guys some good ideas. It is New Year's Eve right now, so happy new year, happy resolution making, and I will see you next year. Thanks so much, bye.